What is up, good people of the internet? We are here for another one of these Vector Space Talks. And I've got to say, it's a special day. We've got the folks from Cheshire Cat coming at you full on today. And I want to get it started right away because I know they got a lot to talk about. And today we get a two for one discount. It's going to be nothing like you have experienced before. <laughs> or maybe those are big words. I'm setting them up huge. We've got Piero coming at us live. Where are you at, Piero? Piero hey. is the founder. There he is. Founder at Cheshire Cat. And you are joined today by Nico, one of the core contributors. It's great to have you both here. I'm Thank excited. you. Thank I'm you. very excited. So you guys are going to be talking to us all about <laughs> what you uh, poetically put, how to meow on the long tail with Cheshire Cat. And so I know you've got some slides prepared. I know you've got all that fun stuff working right now. And I'm going to let you hop right into it so we don't waste any time. You ready? Who wants to share their screen first? Is it you, Nico, or you, Pierre? I'll right, go. Pierre. I'll go. Thanks. Here we go, man. You should be seeing it right now. Yes. Boom. Let's so, go. So, thank you, Demetrios. So, we're happy to be hosted at uh, the Vector Space Talk. Uh, let's talk about the Cheshire Cat AI. This is an open source framework. We have a little partnership going on with Quadrant because the native DB in this uh, framework is Quadrant. It's a Python framework, and before you know, starting to get into the, the details, I'm going to show you a little video. This is the website. So you see, it's a, it's a classic uh, language model assistant chat. We have, for each message, you, can, you have explainability. You can upload the documents. This is all handled automatically. And we start with new stuff. You have uh, a memory page where you can search through the memories of your cat delete explorer uh, collections uh, collection from quadrant uh, we have a plugin system and you can publish any plugin you can uh, sell your plugin there is a big ecosystem already and we also give uh, explanation on uh, memories uh, we have adapters for uh, the most common language models uh, dark team you can do a lot of stuff with uh, with the framework this is how it presents itself uh, we have a blog with tutorials but going back to our numbers it is open source gpl licensed we have some good numbers we are mostly active in italy and in a good part of europe uh, east uh, europe and also a little bit of our communities in the united states there are a lot of contributors already and our docker image has been downloaded uh, quite a few times so it's really easy to start up and running because you you just docker run and you you're good to go we have also a Discord server with uh, thousands of members. If you want to join us, it's going to be fun. We, we, we like meme. We like, to, we, we like to build culture around, around code. So it is not just uh, the code. These are the main components of the cat. You have a chat, uh, as uh, usual. The rabbit hole is our module dedicated to document ingestion. You can extend all of these parts. We have an agent manager. MedData is the module to manage plugins. We have a vector DB, which is Quadrant natively. Uh, by the way, we, we use both the, the file-based Quadrant, the container version, and also we support the cloud version. So if you, if you are using Quadrant, we, we support the whole stack right now with the framework. We have an embedder and a large language model. Coming to the embedder and language models, you can use any language model or embedder you have. Uh, you want closed source, API, open, uh, or Llama, self-hosted, anything. These are the main features. So the first feature of the cat is, is that uh, is ready to fight. It is already dockerized. It's model agnostic. One command in the terminal and you can meow. Uh, the other aspect is that uh, there is not only a retrieval augmented generation system, but also, there is also an action agent. Uh, this is all customizable. You can plug in any script you want as an agent, uh, or you can customize the ready default uh, presence, default agent. Uh, 
And uh, one of our specialties that uh, we do retrieve augmented generation, not only of documents, as everybody's doing, but we do also uh, augmented generation of our conversations. I can hear your keyboard. Uh, we we do uh, augmented generation over conversations and over procedures. So also our tools and form conversational forms are embedded into the DB. We have a big plugin system. It's really easy to use and with different primitives. We have hooks, which are events, WordPress style events. We have tools, uh, function calling, and also we just build up a spec for conversational forms. So you can use your assistant to order a pizza, for example. Multi-tool conversation and order a pizza, book a flight. You can do operative stuff. I already told you, and I repeat a little, uh, not just a runner, but it's a full-fledged framework. So we, we build this not to use language model, but to build applications on top of language models. Uh, there is a big documentation where all the events are described, uh, you find tutorials, and with a few lines of code, uh, you can change the prompt, you can uh, use a long chain inspired tools, and also, and this is the big part we just built, you can use conversational forms. Uh, we launched directly on GitHub and in our Discord, the pizza challenge, where we challenged our community members to build up uh, prototypes uh, to uh, support a multi-turn uh, conversational pizza order. And the result of this uh, challenge is this spec where you define a pedantic model in Python, and then you subclass the pizza form, the cut form from the, from the framework, and you can uh, uh, give examples on uh, utterances that triggers the form, stops the forms, and you can customize the submit function and any other function related to the form. So with a simple subclass, you can handle uh, pragmatic, operational, multi-turn conversations. And, and I, I truly believe we are among the first in the world to build such a spec. We have a lot of plugins. Uh, many are built uh, from the community itself. Uh, many people is already hosting private plugins. There is a little marketplace independent about plugins. Uh, all of these plugins are open source. There are many, many ways to customize the cat. The big advantage here is no vendor lock-in. So since the framework is open and the plugin system can be open, you, you do not need to uh, pass uh, censorship from uh, big uh, tech. Giants. This is one of the best key points of moving the framework along the open source values. For the future, we plan to add the multimodality. At the moment, we are text only, but there are plugins to generate images. But we want to have images and sounds nat natively into the framework. We already accomplished the conversational forms. I hope uh, in a later talk we can speak in more detail about this because it's really cool. And we want to integrate a knowledge graph into the framework so we can play with both sub-symbolic vector representations and symbolic network ones, like linked data, for example, Wikidata. This stuff is going to be really interesting, we think. Yes, we love the Quadrant. It is our, our default DB. Uh, we support it in three different forms, file-based, uh, container-based, and cloud-based also. But from now on, I want to give word to Nicola, uh, which is way more expert on, the, on this uh, vector search topic, and he wrote most of the part related to the DB. So thank you, guys. Uh, Nicola, to you. Thanks, Piero. Uh, thanks, Demetrius. I'm uh, so proud to be hosted here because I'm a Vector Space Talks fan. Um, okay, uh, Quadrant is uh, the, the, the um, Vector DB of the G Share Cat, and now I will try to um, uh, explore the feature uh, uh, that we we use uh, on G Share Cat. The first uh the slide explain the cat's memory because uh, quadrant is our memory uh, we have a long-term memory uh, in uh, three parts the episodic memory 
when uh, we store and uh, manage the conversation, the chat, uh, the declarative memory when we store and manage documents, and the procedural memory when we store and uh, manage the, the tools. Uh, uh, how to manage uh, three memories uh, with uh, um, several embedder because uh, the, the user can uh, choose uh, his favorite his uh, favorite embedder and change uh, and change it we uh, explore the uh, feature the aliases uh, the quadrant aliases uh, feature uh, and uh, we call it the, this uh, this topic the drunken cat effect because if we have uh, several uh, um, embedders uh, or for example, two, uh, two, uh, two models, two embedders with the, the same uh, dimension, uh, we can put in the, um, in the collection, in the episodic or declarative collection, vectors from two different embeddings with the same dimension, but the points are different for the same sentences. And the cat, uh, is uh, for the cat is uh, like uh, for the human when uh, uh, he mixes uh, drinks. Uh, uh, he has a, a big headache and uh, um, don't understand when uh, 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 what um, it retrieved to us. Uh, the flow now is this. Uh, we um, create the, the collection uh, with the name and exp uh, we use the aliases to um, um, label this collection with the name of the embedder used. When the user changes the embedder, we check uh, if the embedder has the same, um, the same dimension if it has the same dimension, we check also the aliases. If the aliases is the same, we don't change nothing. Uh, otherwise, we create another collection. And this is the, the drunken cut effect, the first uh, feature uh, we, uh, uh, that we use in the cat. Uh, another feature is the, uh, the quantization, because uh, um, with this uh, Quadrant feature, we uh, improve the accuracy and the performance. Uh, we use the scalar quantization because uh, um, we are model agnostic and uh, other quantization uh, uh, like the binary quantization, if, we, uh, if uh, you read on the quadrant documents, are uh, um, <coughs> experimented on uh, not to all um, not to all embedder, but also for uh, OpenAI and Cohere, if uh, I remember well. Um, we use this uh, the scalar quantization, and the scalar quantization is used in uh, the storage step. Um, the uh, the vector are uh, quantized and um, and stored in a hybrid mode. The original vector on disk, the quantized vector in RAM. Um, in the, with this uh, procedure, uh, we um, this procedure uh, we can. Uh, use less memory. Uh, in case of uh, uh, quadrant uh, scalar uh, quantization, the uh, float uh, 32 uh, elements is converted to int 8 uh, on a single number, uh, on a single element, needs 75% uh, less memory. Uh, in case of a big uh, um, embeddings like, uh, I don't know, Gina embeddings or uh, Mistral embeddings with uh, uh, more than uh, 1,000 elements, this is a, a big improvements. The second part 
is uh, the um, retriever, the ret retriever step. Uh, we uh, use a quantized query and a quantized vector to uh, calculate cosine similarity. And we have the top 10 results, like uh, a, simple, uh, a simple semantic search pipeline. But if we want a top 10 results in quantized uh, mode, the quantized mode uh, has um, less quality on, uh, on the information. And we use the oversampling. The oversampling is a simple multi multiplication. If we want uh, top n with n uh, 10, with oversampling, with a score like uh, 1.5, we have 15 uh, results, quantized results. When we have these 15 quantized results, we uh, retrieve also the same 15 uh, no unquantized vectors. And on these uh, unquantized vectors, we rescale based on uh, the, the query and filter the best 10. This is um, an improvement because the uh, retrieve step is, uh, is uh, so fast. Yes, because using these tip and tricks, uh, the Cheshire Cat vectors achieve up uh, um, four times lower memory footprint and two times performance increase. We are so fast uh, using this uh, uh, quadrant feature. And last but not least, uh, uh, we go in, uh, in deep on, uh, on the memory. This is the visualization uh, that Piero showed uh, uh, before. Um, this is the vector space in uh, 2D. We use Tisney. is uh, very, very similar to the uh, quadrant cloud visualization for the embeddings. Uh, we have uh, the search bar, uh, how many vectors we want to retrieve. We can choose uh, um, the memory. Uh, uh, and other filters. Uh, we can filter on, uh, on the memory and we can wipe a memory or all memory and clean all uh, our, uh, our space. Uh, we can go in deep using the details. Uh, we can pass on the dot and uh, we have a bubble or use the detail um, the detail and uh, we have a list of uh, first uh, n uh, um, uh, results near our query for every uh, every memory last but not least uh, we can export and share our memory uh, in two in two in two mode the first is exporting the JSON using the export button from the, the UI, or uh, if you are uh, um, very curious, you can uh, navigate the, the folder in the, in the project and uh, share the long-term memory folder with all the memories. Or uh, the experimental feature is wake up the door mouse. Uh, this feature is uh, simple. The, um, uh, the, the download of the quadrant snapshots. This is experimental because uh, the snapshot is uh, is very 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 easy to uh, download, and um, uh, we uh, we uh, will work on. A, um, faster methods to, to use it, but uh, now it works and uh, sometimes uh, some user uh, use, uh, use this feature. Um, for me is, uh, is all and uh, thank you. Yeah. All right, excellent. So 
That is perfect timing. And I know there have been a few questions coming through in the chat. One from me, I think you already answered, Piero, but when we can have some pistachio gelato made from good old Cheshire cat. <laughs> So the plan is uh, make the cat order gelato from a service, from an API that can already be done. So we meet uh, somewhere or at our house and uh, gelato is going to come for the cat. He also, is go the cat is able to take uh, each, uh, uh, each of us can do a different order. But to make the gelato itself, we're going to wait for more uh, open source robotics to come to our way. And then we go also there. <laughs> then we do that. We can get the full program. How cool is that? Well, let's see. Uh, I'll give it another minute. Let anyone from the chat ask any questions. This was really cool. And I appreciate you all breaking down not only the space and what you're doing, but the different uh, ways that you're using Quadrant and the challenges and the architecture behind it. I would love to know while people are typing in their questions, especially for you, Nico, like what have been some of the challenges that you faced when you're dealing with just trying to get Cheshire Cat to be more reliable and be more able to execute with confidence um the challenges are uh, the um, in, are in particular to uh, mix the uh, a lot of uh, quadrant feature uh, with the um, user needs because uh, i'm um, a researcher, a data scientist. I, I like to uh, to play with uh, strange features like uh, uh, binary quantization, but uh, we uh, need to uh, maintain the focus on the user needs, on the user behavior. Mm. And uh, sometimes we cut uh, some uh, some feature on uh, on the Cheshire Cat because is. Uh, mm, is uh, not uh, important now for the for the user and uh, we can introduce uh, some some bug or uh, some um, uh, or, or rather misunderstanding for the uh, for the user hmm. and can you hear me yeah. yeah 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 all right good now i'm seeing a question come through in the chat that is asking if you are thinking about cloud version of the cat like a SaaS. It's gonna come. Oh, it's in it's in the works. It's Just... in the works. Not only you know you can self-host the cat freely. Some people uh, install it on a Raspberry, so it's really lightweight. We plan to have a hosted version and also a bigger plugin ecosystem with a little marketplace also user will be able to upload and maybe sell their plugins so we, oh, cool. we want to build an economy you know our vision is a wordpress style ecosystem oh nice very cool oh that is awesome so basically what i'm hearing from from nico asking about some of the challenges are like, hey, there's some really cool features that we've got in Quadrant, but it's almost like you have to keep your eye on the prize and make sure that you're building for what people need and want instead of just using cool features because you can use cool features. And then Piero, you're saying, hey, we're, we really want to enable people to be able to build more cool things and use all these cool different features and however whatever flavors or tools they want to use but we want to be that ecosystem creator so that anyone can bring and create an app on top of the ecosystem and then enable them to get paid also so it's not just cheshire cat getting paid it's also the contributors that are creating cool stuff yeah yeah Community is uh, the, the first uh, protagonist, you know, without community, I I'm going to tell you, you know, the cat started as a tutorial. 
-hmm. when uh, chat gpt came out uh, i decided to do a little rag tutorial and i chose quadrant as vector db i took i took uh, you know open ai as a language model and i did a little tutorial and then uh, from being a tutorial to show how to build an agent on github it, it completely went out of hand mm -hmm. so the yeah. whole uh, the whole framework uh, is uh, organically grown mm -hmm. yeah that's the best that is really cool uh simone is asking if there's companies that are already using cheshire cat and if you can mention a few yeah, yeah, there is, um, okay, in Italy, there are uh, at least uh, 10, 15 companies uh, distributed along education, customer care, you know, typical uh, chatbot usage. Mm -hmm. And also one of them in particular is trying to build for uh, public administration, which is really hard to do. Uh, on the international level, we are seeing something in Germany, like web agencies uh, starting to use the cat a little uh, on the USA, mostly they are trying to build uh, agents uh, using the cat and the llama as a runner. Mm -hmm. And a company in particular presented in a conference in Vegas a, um, a pitch about a 3D avatar. Inside the avatar, there is, a, there is the cat as a linguistic uh, device. Oh, nice. To be honest, we have a little problem uh, tracking companies because we, we still have no telemetry. We decided to be, you know, no telemetry for the moment. <laughs> so I hope companies will uh, contribute and uh, make themselves uh, happen. If that does not, we're going to track a little more. But uh, companies using the cat are at least in the 50, 60, 70. Yeah, yeah, nice. And so if anybody out there is using the cat, and you have not talked to Piero yet, let him know so that he can have a good idea of what you're doing and how you're doing it. There's also uh, another question coming through about the market analysis. Are there some competitors? There are many competitors. Uh, when you go down to what uh, distinguishes the cat from uh, many other frameworks that are coming out, we, we decided the, since the beginning to go for a plugin based operational agent and at the moment most frameworks uh, are uh, retrieval augmented generation frameworks mm -hmm. we have both retrieval augmented generation we have tooling we have forms the tools and the forms are also embedded so you know the cat can have also can, can have twenty thousand tools because we also embed the tools and we we make a recall over the function calling Huh. So we scaled up uh, both documents, conversation and tools, conversational forms. And I, I, I am, I've not seen anybody doing that uh, till now. So if you want to build an application, a pragmatic operational application to build, uh, to buy products, order pizza, do stuff, uh, have a company assistant, the cat is uh, really, really good at the moment. Excellent. Guys. And the cat has a, a very big community on Discord. Yeah. Who works. Uh... Yeah, Equip our Discord is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the best memes around. That is, if that doesn't make people join the Discord, I don't know what will. So please, Nico, sorry for interrupting. No. Okay, it's, uh, I, I finished. So the community is a plus for uh, the Cheshire Cat because uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, developer users on Discord and uh, for, for an open source project, the community is uh, fundamentally. Hmm. 100%. Well, fellas, this has been awesome. I really appreciate you coming on the Vector Space Talks and sharing about the cat. For anybody that is interested, hopefully they go, they check it out, they join your community, they share some memes, and they get involved. Maybe even contribute back and create some tools. That would be awesome. So, Piero and Nico, I really appreciate your time. We'll see you all later. Thank you. Thank you. And for anybody out there that wants to come on to the Vector Space Talks and give us a bit of an update on how you're using quadrant we'd love to hear it just reach out and we'll schedule you in until next time see y'all bye